welcome back to another Japan Book Hunter. And today we're looking at some Shintaro Kago. I'm telling you, this manga is what nightmares are made of. So let's take a look at some Kago Shintaro manga. Of course, the master of Ero Guro. Him alongside Hanawa Kazuichi and Maruo Suihiro are probably the most popular Ero Guro artists in Japan to produce manga and illustrations. I mean, they were, those three were my gateway into Ero Guro manga. We're not gonna look at everything here, but first of all, here's some covers. I got a lot in stock. I found a seller that had like 12, a set of 12 when I went to the pop-up event recently here in Koenji where I live and I bought all of them. Isn't that a rad cover? So cool. Of course, a common theme is things popping out of a girl or boy's head and this one is no different. Of course, also many of Kago Shintaro's manga have been translated and illustration books released in both Europe and America. Weird grotesque, violent, and weird. Just psychedelic sometimes. I've had the pleasure of meeting Kago on three or four occasions. And you know, we email with each other once in a while. I buy stuff directly from him, including Genga, original artworks, and you know, Dojinshi, self-published stuff. But uh, haven't bought anything directly from him recently. These are some that we'll take a look at the insides of. Brandon was nice enough to go through and give us some notes and bookmark some pages that are acceptable here on YouTube. So, of course, a lot of his stuff is just scatological and it's wild and it's grotesque and it's probably not suitable for most social media, but he is the master of deconstruction. I actually had an original painting of Santa Claus, the deconstruction of Santa Claus, but I sold it to my fine friend, Brian Moss, who is an awesome human being and an awesome collector. Look at those hands. This is like almost like a weird Attack on Titan type story with giant things such as hands. This is called the Ultra Power Mongol Invasion. If you can see it there in the corner. And Kago's been making his rounds in Europe recently doing uh, signing events, um, caricature drawings, if you request them. He uh, actually, you, you probably know if you watch this channel, but he drew a picture of my son with a cat on his head once. It was amazing because I did not want a picture of my son with his skull flying out of his head. I thought that would be a little bit, you know, weird. See, Attack on Titan vibes, but of the Eroguro nature. Let's see what else we have here. What else did Brandon give us? Brandon, what you give us, homie? No wheels, just hands. Today is Koenji Fest, a festival. We have three big festivals in Koenji each year. And today is Koenji Fest. We also have Awa Odori, and then we have Daidoge. Daidoge is the street performers festival. So I'm in here in the morning right now, filming this, and then getting ready to go out and have some fun with the fam at the festival. Uh, zombies, perfect for our fine end to October. We've been trying to do a little bit of Halloween stuff here, but we've also been pretty busy. Tough to keep up, my friends. Appreciate all the orders coming in in japanbookhunter.com. Lots of cool, cool stacks. I really love finding good manga and art books and slanging them to all of you, my friends. So head on over to japanbookhunter.com if you want to check out some more wild Ero Guro. And you know, I usually tag or Brandon usually tags Eroguro if it's Eroguro. So you can just hit that search bar and you can just hit that search bar and uh, type in Eroguro and all the Kago, Maruo, Hanawa, all the fun Eroguro stuff that we have will pop right up there for you. And we're gonna get all of these up on the website this next week, probably about the time this video comes out. It takes a little bit of time, you know, I shoot them Brandon edits him. I mean, he can draw anything. He can draw machines, he can draw cars, he can draw brains, he can draw skulls, he can draw skeletons. He can draw anything that you want. 
and of course cute bloody girls savagery look at that kura kura rinkura. yeah almost like a sailor moon nice we'll keep going i'll show you a couple more this one as Br as brandon noted group of girls invite guys over for a sleepover and then kill them yeah that's what i'm talking about oh sleepover what will happen next the eye patch the eye patch the eye patch comes from uh eye surgery that's why you see it sometimes getting the eyelids done so as to make your eyes look bigger getting a fold putting in there but it's a classic trope to eroguro what is this dude well she's got no head now look at that head flying through the air perfect hair perfect hair forever my friends and i guess this is the point where uh the boys start to die you know i've he's so prolific he's probably put out 50 manga so I've probably read eight, ten of his manga from my collection, my personal collection. But uh, just so much stuff that, I mean, from the 90s on to now. Of course, a regular contributor to Axe Magazine as well. Axe was, there's a little bit of overlap between Axe and Garo, but basically Axe was the follow-up of alternative indie manga to Garo Magazine when Garo went under. Oh, there you go, dude. You're done. Amazing. Amazing. And we have one more here that I'll take a take a look at. Take a look at. Sort of human centipede style serial killer story, according to Brandon. Because he read through this one. Because I hadn't. And he's like, we should definitely check this one out. Appreciate him a ton. And Brandon is here full time now, helping us out. So we got a team of three. Me, my wife, Brandon, out here slanging books. For you, my friends. All for you. Self-referential. That is... Cargo right there. Oh, let's go back. Ah, punch to the face. Tape to the eyes. Death. Actually, I like that. That panel's sick. Adds a little bit of mystery. Wakaranai, 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 wakaranai. He's losing his mind. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. There is the man himself again. And we're starting to get into it. Look, they're bound together at the waist. So gross and so weird. Ugh. Why is she so happy? I would not be happy. Especially if I'm the down person. Down person's a bummer. Ugh. Look at that two page spread, though. That's sick. Wild, wild. And that, my fine friends, is Kago Shintaro. Kago, there he is. There you can see the, the reference, his drawing of himself. Always wears a hat. Never seen him without a hat on. And just a kind, generous human being. I love him to death and his art is amazing. If you're interested in anything, go over to japanbookcountry.com. But of course, um, lots of stuff available in English. There's some art books out there. You know, his illustration books are amazing. Yeah, yeah. If you're a fan of Ero Guro, I definitely recommend picking up some Kago Shintaro. All right, thanks everyone for watching. Remember, japanbookcountry.com, that's where we sell our weird and wild and rare books. And of course, Japan Book Hunter on Instagram, TikTok, and all of the social media. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, all that fine stuff. And until next time, my friends, matane.